Hello and welcome to episode four of Triple Threat. Uh, I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about all of them, of course, uh, as you probably uh, would assume, because I'm having so much fun playing these accounts, but uh, this should be a fun one. I'm uh, I'm excited for everyone to kind of be training their uh, their skills, you know, like Mr. Piety has got his melee that he's doing. Mr. Rigger is finally falling into the uh, into the, the actual training of his range skill, and uh, Mr. Augury should be doing that pretty soon here. I'm not sure if he's going to get to it in this episode, but uh, he's yearning for the... Uh, the, the arcane arts and so it should happen soon but uh, but either way I think this is gonna be a very fun episode it should be a very good time and without any further ado let's get into it there is ranged level 20 on Mr. Rigger, which is fantastic because now I can be using, I think it's a, a Willow short bow and Mithril arrows that I've already bought from uh, from Varrock. So that's going to be a nice upgrade from him. And he's just cruising on these cows, getting some cow hides, which is very nice. So Mr. Augury has just uh, finished his 50th game of Winter Tot, as you can see here, as well as reached 70 fire making, which is really nice. I think I'm going to pause on Winter Tot for a little while. I'll kind of show you the supplies that I've gotten so far, but uh, things have been going pretty well. I'm going to start working on some other stuff, I think. Uh, I've already gotten the, uh, what is it, the uh, the Pyromancer garb and the Bruma torch that I already showed you, and nothing else yet in terms of actual, like, uh, unique loot. But uh, as far as just general stuff goes, this is kind of what I've gotten here. This is the general tab that I have for winter Todd loot um, some other random things thrown in there but that's mostly it as well as what I've got in the group storage which is the uh, the herbs and seeds that's where I'm gonna keep all the all the herbs and seeds for the group storage because I think that's the best place to keep those so a pretty solid a uh, little start here at winter Todd which is really nice but I think it is time for mr. Uh, mr. augury here to uh, actually get started with doing some uh, some new stuff um, he's gonna probably start working on some uh, some magic and uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, I'm excited for him and it should be a fun time. So out of the kindness of his heart, uh, Mr. Piety has agreed to head on over to the Wizard's Tower and uh, slaughter a bunch of their uh, their their inhabitants for uh, for some wizard robes for Mr. Augury. So that should be a very fun time. Uh, they they drop not only the um, the wizard robe top, but also the wizard hat, and so that should be fun. It should work out pretty well for him to get those, and then uh, Mr. Augury over here will buy the rest of it in Varrock. All right, so here he is. Uh, he's got the blue skirt now from. Uh, from Thessalia, Thessalia, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years and I can't pronounce that, but uh, here we go. Now Mr. Augury has got his beautiful blue skirt on and soon, thanks to Mr. Piety, he'll have uh, some robes and a hat to match. Well, that was actually super quick. I think that's the uh, the fourth kill, and that is a blue wizard robe. Now, I also did a little bit of research and found out that the blue wizard hat, or just the wizard hat, whatever it's called, is actually a uh, a much rarer drop from these wizards, and they hit pretty hard. Like, they took a lot of food just for four kills. But uh, imps actually drop a decent... Uh, they, they drop the blue wizard hat pretty, uh, pretty frequently. I think it's like 1 in 16 or something like that, compared to like the 1 in 42 from the wizards, uh, who are attacking me still as I leave. And... And so we're going to go ahead and kill some imps instead, and uh, then I can get also, I can get Mr. Augury the beads for Imp Catcher, which if I'm not mistaken, gives a little bit of magic XP, so that should be very nice. Now also on Mr. Augury, I'm over here at the, uh, at Aubrey's Rune Shop in Varrock, and I think I'm going to buy a few packs of, like, elemental runes for, uh, for... Uh, just, you know, ammunition for him to have. I think that'll be a good thing to have as well as I kind of go through this magic training. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to get. I'm just going to probably start with 10 packs of each because that's pretty affordable. But we are definitely also going to need a lot of mind runes. And so that's probably going to be the main expense here because I'm going to be casting a bunch of, uh, of, uh, of spells with the mind runes. And it looks like those are actually cheaper, which is nice. So I'll buy probably a bunch of those like that. And now Mr. Augury is actually uh, a few steps closer to training magic in his uh, in his journey to learn the arcane arts, which is very, very nice. Well, that was also incredibly quick. I think that was my fourth imp kill, uh, actually, so that's really nice. There's the blue wizard hat. However, I am going to stay here to uh, get a bunch of uh, beads for uh, for Mr. Augury so that he can actually do the um, the uh, the imp catcher's quest and get that seven or 800 or so XP in, uh, in magic, so I'll be here for a little while doing that. 
Hey, that was actually pretty fast. I, uh, I just got the red bead here, and uh, that was my last one. I only had to kill 60 imps in total. I just checked the loot uh, the loot logger on uh, on Runelight. So I've got the red, the yellow, the white, and the black beads. It's time to go ahead and deliver those, along with the, the blue wizard hat and the blue wizard robe, on over to Mr. Augury. And with that, we're able to take those beads and finish up the imp catcher quest, which is very nice. Now, I'm going to test something, because I get this amulet of accuracy. Oh, and there's eight magic also for Mr. Uh, Mr. Augury, which is very nice and a few combat levels but if i drop this amulet of accuracy then i think i should be able to oh just kidding it looks like you have to get more beads in order to get them i was going to try to drop trick and uh, get them on the other accounts as well but i'm not down to get those beads again so instead uh, we'll just uh, use this amulet of accuracy on mr uh, mr augury here and also look how fancy he looks in his brand new robes that mr uh, piety got for him i think he's looking very nice and uh, very schnazzy if i do say so myself and then i've also so uh, just barely finished up everything for the Witch's Potion quest, so now we are all set there, and that is another 325 magic XP and 10 magic, which is huge, a good milestone. Now we can actually cast the, uh, what is it, the Fire Strike spell, which is actually really nice, because uh, that's going to do us some nice damage, and we'll probably head over to Cows, uh, like the other two accounts, and start killing some of those, because what else do we do on the uh, on the Triple Threat Group Iron Man but kill Cows? All right, over here on Mr. Rigger, we have officially hit level 28 range, which is massive because that allows us to uh, to use the bone crossbow uh, from Death to the Dorgashun. So that's really nice uh, because that's going to do some some really good range training for us. So I'm excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that right now and uh, keep going. I don't know what level I want to get for Death to the Dorgashun exactly. I've got to get some kind of high level so that I can actually do the fight at the end with Sigmund. But uh, I'll keep you updated and see how it goes. And there is the bone crossbow achieved, as well as a bunch of bone bolt packs. You love to see it. So now I'm on Mr. Piety here, and uh, Mr. Piety has been very inefficient in killing cows, but uh, it's been good to do while I've just been AFKing other things, but it is officially time to uh, to head down the route that many Iron Men go down, and that is the Waterfall Quest. He's going to be the only one that can actually do the Waterfall Quest because he's the melee but uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. He's got 25 hit points from the cows, really solid defense as well, so it shouldn't be any problem for him to do it to get past the Moss Giants and the Fire Giants, but uh, it'll be a good time, and I'll see you when I get to that point. All right, here we are at uh, at Glarial's tombstone in this part of the quest where we have to go ahead and take all of our stuff off and drop anything that uh, does actual damage or has any defensive bonuses and stuff like that. So we're gonna head in here and uh, run past all of these scary, scary uh, moss giants, moss guardians, I guess. They're even stronger. But uh, this is the part that kills a lot of accounts because of how high level they are and how hard they hit. Uh, but hopefully we can just get past this with no problem. I've definitely died on multiple accounts to these Moss Guardians in the past, but it looks like it's going pretty well, honestly. I don't think we're going to be having any problems, especially if we can get those smaller guys to hit us. Uh, things are going well. We just got to run out of here, get back up north, and then we should be all set. And this is really the hardest part of the quest uh, for a lot of people. So we stayed pretty high HP the whole time, no problems. And now we are all set to go ahead and uh, finish the quest. Very nice, very easy. All right, now for the actual scariest part of the quest, though, and that is not left clicking this urn and using the, the <laughs> or this chalice here and actually using the urn on it. Because uh, if you do that, then you mess up the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do that that and we should be set uh, we carefully do that and we have completed the waterfall quest which is massive because now we have level 34 attack and 34 strength so we went up from like 25s to 34s which is awesome so now we're going to go ahead and see what other quests we can do in order to continue to progress uh, Mr. Piety here okay so a quick update here I know I just said I was going to work on some quests however with Mr. Piety here we actually can't uh, do a lot of the quests that I was just thinking we were going to be able to do and that's because I don't have any magic uh, I can't I can't use magic on this account right he's only the melee guy he doesn't do any magic and so um, I can't do at least yet I can't do the fight arena because you have to fight the uh, all the things with mage uh, ideally you can't do uh, the grand tree because you have to do the the black demon with mage theory or er, ideally and then you also can't do the tree gnome village because you have to do the uh, the Khazard warlord ideally with mage and so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna keep working on mr. piety but I'm gonna be working on getting 
sending him protection prayers because I'm pretty sure with protect from melee, we should be able to do all three of those quests pretty easily. So we're going to hold off on questing for a while here with Mr. Piety and instead get him some prayer experience. And I'm going to figure out the best way to do that, but uh, I'll do some theory crafting and let you know what I come up with. All right, we have released the restless ghost from his torment and now we have finished the Restless Ghost quest, which means we got 1,125 prayer XP, which actually takes us up to, uh, let's see here, to level 18 prayer, which is really nice. So we're just getting closer and closer to 43, which is what we need for Protect from Melee. So like, I think we got one or two more quests that we'll probably do right now that uh, will help us get toward that. So let's go ahead and do those. Oh, very nice. 36 combat as well. Huge. And the next quest that I was uh, planning on doing is the Priest in Peril quest. So now that's finished, and I got another 1,406 prayer XP, which is very nice. That gets us to level uh let's see here 20 21 which is very nice we're uh we're almost halfway in terms of levels to 43 but obviously not in terms of experience so i still got to do some theory crafting to figure out the right way to get that prayer experience to 43 because i could do dragons of course that's a really good way to do it but i am not high enough combat to kill dragons and i want to get this uh these protection prayers before i get to dragons obviously so let's see how it goes but uh i'll keep you updated on what i decide to do so as uh as i'm getting ready to do another quest here I decided that I wanted to uh, kill these highwaymen for a black cape because if I'm not mistaken Yes, it does give a little bit of defense uh, Just random defense stats. So I'll have this cape now on mr. Piety So not only a little uh, defense upgrade, but also a slight fashion scape upgrade very nice so Mr. Augury's been doing a lot of cows uh, along with Mr. Piety and Mr. Rigor. Uh, they've all been doing it at various points in their lifetimes, but uh, I just hit level 25 magic a little bit ago and 10 defense. So I think I'm going to call it uh, for now on cows for Mr. Augury and uh, go figure out something else to do with him. And uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of skilling on Mr. Rigor or something like that. I do need something to do AFK while I do this questing on Mr. Piety. So we'll figure out what that is. So I've decided what I'm going to do on, uh, on Mr. Augury here, and that's that I'm going to use the literal 1300 uh, cow hides that I have. It's a lot of cow hides that I've gotten over the course of these three accounts here. And I'm going to get them turned into leather actually because there's a decent amount of. Um Let's see, where is this guy? Oh, there he is. There's a decent amount of uh, crafting experience waiting to be had in that. And so I'm going to start tanning all this leather and actually getting it turned into uh, leather gloves and, and, and leather bodies and things like that. So it should be a good time and get us a decent amount of crafting experience. All right, so I have just completed Merlin's Crystal, which is, gets us uh, six quest points, Excalibur. But most importantly, it gets us the ability to do the Holy Grail because the Holy Grail quest is going to get us a lot of uh, um, defense XP, which is really nice. The defense XP... XP is going to be huge as well as the uh, the prayer XP. I think it gives 11k prayer XP, which is really nice. So we'll get that going in just a little bit here. Uh, I know it's a lot of walking. I did it on, a, on an account not too long ago without any teleports, and it was kind of painful. So we'll see how it goes this time, but uh, it should be a fun time regardless. And with that, folks, we come to the end of episode four. Everyone is looking super solid. As you can see here, I've got everyone dressed up in their best in slot gear that they have so far, minus their helmets and hats and coifs, of course, because I like to show off their beautiful faces at the end of the episodes here. But uh, everyone's looking really solid. Everyone's getting their own niches in, in, the, in, the, in the group and everything. And I think it's a lot of fun. I have just uh, an unbelievably extreme amount of fun making these videos. And I hope you uh, can kind of see that and enjoy the videos yourself as well. I, uh, I I do stream this uh, this series every day on Twitch, so be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash Mr. Chendler. The link's in the description, along with another link to the podcast that my wife and I do. Uh, we just put out our first episode earlier this week, and we're going to do weekly episodes talking about old school RuneScape, game updates, what we're doing in game, how everything's going, and uh, it's always a fun time, or it has been a fun time so far, and I can imagine that it's going to be even more fun going forward. So be sure to check out the links in the description, and just know that I love you and uh, see ya.